Ah! <laughs> that's how he feels about that skip. Two hours, really? How do you run that game? I don't understand how you'd run that game. There must be like some arbitrary amount you have to like reach or something like that. Dude, in terms of sprite work, again, this game is amazing. I definitely like it. Yeah, a lot of indie emotes are based around this one. And then I, for one of mine, I definitely picked like that fat penguin. I liked it a lot. Yeah, really. It, it's 100% fat shaming. If you beat a stage, like your that little bar at the bottom is like your fat meter, whatever you want to call it. So if it fills up, like he actually gets like bigger and bigger. And if you beat the stage and you're too big, the girlfriend calls you and it says, "Nope, you're too big. Try again." Okay, wait. I didn't realize. Okay, one for sure. I didn't see the other one. What I picked up in the first drop. Okay, two three. Again, I don't know if that's correct, but whatever. We'll listen to this. The only thing I don't remember, like this was the very first import game that I played probably like over a decade ago. As I was kind of saying earlier, I beat this one, and then I beat uh, Moon Crystal, which is another really good one. But I haven't played the English version since then, so it's been a long time. And the only reason- or the only thing, sorry, I can't remember is like, the girlfriend penguin, I don't know if she's running away with like the other penguin, or uh, if like the other penguin kidnapped her or something. That part I forget. I see gluttonous goof. Every little object uh, that can hit you, he eats like that. Dude, <laughs> stop eating. <laughs> that, that's literally... I really wanted to keep the missile off for this fight. That's okay. Yeah, no death, only fat. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> it's one horrible penguin girlfriend. <laughs> ah, good to know, Grunt. Yeah, I couldn't remember that story prior. This time, little beetle. This is Endy's favorite sprite in the entire game. This happy penguin flying with that like helicopter helicopter thing on his hat. I think anyway. I'm pretty sure it's his favorite. It's pretty cute. Hey, we got the quick kill.
<laughs> She's a horrible penguin. The, the ending is really good, like even if you can't understand Japanese, the ending is really good. I do like the ending a lot because there's kind of like a twist role reversal and stuff. So it's good. Can I pick up that? I can't really pick up that bottle without picking up the clock. Can you die? Thanks. This is, like, if you're ever interested in any kind of, like, speed games or anything like that, I would say this one is super easy to learn. I mean, you could probably learn it in a matter of a couple hours or something like that. Really, I think, like, a couple of the quick kills are kind of hard, um, but they're, they're not that hard or anything. Like, this upcoming quick kill is a little bit difficult as well. The hardest part is definitely like the, the level 1 skip, where you're like jumping on that waterfall to avoid climbing up the ladder. But in terms of easy NES speedruns that are like pretty accessible, I would say this one for sure, and Chippendale. Pizza Pop or like DuckTales, they're all pretty easy runs to kind of learn and figure out. This is the only thing that I don't really know, is like how these guys fall. Like I know they fall in a kind of like specific pattern, but I don't know the best way to completely avoid them yet. Yeah, this, this quick kill is a little bit weird too. It's pretty precise. The big thing about this one though is if you miss it, like you literally lose like 15 seconds or something. Okay, cool. We'll take that. I have no idea what is in the bottle. It's a good question. What's a Zeller? <laughs> Jenny in the forest come for penguins. Alright, so water in this game, if you fall in the water, you become like immediately obese. That's literally how the last run ended, so hopefully we do not fall in the water. Why? What? Why is that so early, dude? I'm not supposed to get that potion thing yet. This little star thing. This is so early, I have no idea what to do. Well, I guess we'll just keep going. Literally have no idea why it was that early. So this is scary too, there's like two spots you can fall on the water here as well and I don't know how to do these jumps completely properly. So I guess we'll see if we fall or not. Nope. See? That's what I mean. You can fall on the water there. It's a scary time. Take that, I guess. It's 
So I like the ending. The ending is really good. Again, even if you can't speak Japanese. Ah, shit. I don't know if I'll get the two cycle. That was kind of a weird spot. No, nope, one more cycle. I think I did this in my PB as well. I missed about like two shots. So. Ugh. That's okay. Probably a 10 17. I'm not sure what it is. But we'll take that for now. Oh, I didn't realize Andy had that other one. <laughs> yeah, I, I would have liked to see like what people were doing and how like literally the developments and stuff went. to the GG's. So this this is kind of like the ending. You know, she's really really happy. You're like, oh you're not a fat penguin, I'm happy to be with you. And then this is where there's kind of like that twist, which I do appreciate. I do like it. What they're saying, I don't know. But then this happens, so you'll see. I do like the ending quite a bit in this one. See? <laughs> so, yep. 